So here it is, the latest refresh of the ThinkPad T440S with Intel Haswell inside an Ultrabook ULV CPUs. I, these are always hard to find in stores, ThinkPads. You can certainly get them from Lenovo.com on their website. A couple of retailers might carry them, but this may be your only chance to actually see one before you buy it. So here it is, 3.6 pounds. It keeps getting lighter and lighter, and that's one thing that's nice. So if you like the T-Series, but you don't like the weight and the bulk of it, this is the slimmed down version of it. As ever, it looks like Lenovo, which is means that you folks who like flashy consumer designs are going to say, oh my god, it's so boring, but people who like business designs and ThinkPads will say, hey, that looks pretty cool. It's their new black finish. It's not the soft touch sticky finish anymore. That's gone. It does show fingerprint oil a bit. Of course, you can wipe it down with a damp cloth and that will go away. 0.8 inches thick. So not uber skinny, but not too bad either. Again, this is not supposed to be one of those 12 and a half inch you know, yoga ThinkPad kind of products right here, a little bit bigger. And I'm not complaining because it gives you more keyboard travel, really awesome keyboard inside. On the side here, we have lots of ventilation. There's our rectangular power plug, USB 3.0 port, mini display port right here. Another USB port that can also charge, smart card reader slot over here. You business people will know that's what that's for. Combo audio jack, 3.5 millimeter. If you get it with 3G, that's where the SIM card slot is right here. You poke it with a paper clip to pop out the door. SD card slot compatible with SDXC cards. Another USB 3.0 port. Your gigabit wired Ethernet right here and VGA. VGA handy for projectors and all those legacy monitors in offices. On the bottom here, we have a docking connector, though I don't know of any dock that's available for this. We have spill holes for the keyboard. In theory, you should be able to spill some water on this and have it drain out the bottom. Now, if you're drinking something sticky like Kool-Aid or beer, hey, good luck to you. But if it's something like water, it might work. The battery is old-fashioned removable. Isn't that neat? Release slot here, release slot here. And this has the bridge battery system, just like the X240. That means there's a three-cell battery built into the laptop, not one that you can pull out, although if you disassemble it, you could remove it, like with Ultrabooks. Three-cell battery that is removable, and then there's an optional six-cell, 72-watt-hour battery for extremely long run times. So... Laptop is actually turned on and sleeping, and it doesn't matter if we take this out. And this is the standard slim three cell battery that sits in there flush. And here's the six cell battery. So obviously, it's going to give it some lift. You can see what it looks like right here. And again, no need to power down the laptop. The way it's designed, it's going to always drain these removable batteries first, leaving you with some juice inside. So that's pretty darn handy. If we put it on the side. You can see it's going to give it a little bit of a raised rear end over here. Kind of our raised sports car look. It's pretty comfortable for typing when it's raised up, so no complaints there. Obviously, it makes it a little bit thicker. It's going to make it somewhat heavier than the standard battery. But given the fact that this thing can run literally all day on a charge with this, I, Lenovo's claiming you know you go 12 hours, maybe more, with this extended battery in here plus the built-in battery. That's amazingly long, good long battery life for a machine that's this size. You might even manage more than 12 hours, in fact. And if you just go with the built-in battery alone, Lenovo says you'll get six hours. That means running with absolutely nothing in this holder right here. I doubt you're going to do that. And if you go with the standard three-cell built-in plus this battery right here, they say you go up to nine hours. And so far in our tests, that's proven to be true. And because size matters for many of us, the X240 on top, the T440S on the bottom. So you get the diff idea of the difference in sizes here. Now the thickness is pretty much the same. It's just the footprint that changes on these. Not a huge difference, really. The T440S is pretty impressively compact for a 14-inch ultra portable. As ever, mil-spec tested magnesium alloy roll cage in here, so a very durable machine, the kind you can drop, bang around, and it won't be the end of the world. The bottom is removable on this if you want to upgrade some parts. Just unscrew the screws that are around the edges here, standard little small Phillips head screws. Inside we have a 2.5 inch SATA drive base, standard notebook size hard drive can go in there, or an SSD, your choice right there. It has one RAM slot available, so you can upgrade the memory. Right now, that would put you up to 8 gigs with one slot. The wireless card is socketed. You have your choice of 
Intel single band Wi Fi N0211 BGN or Intel dual band Wi Fi AC modules. As always, Lenovo and BIOS whitelists, only certain wireless cards are allowed. So if you want to upgrade yourself after, you're probably going to have to pick one of the cards that Lenovo actually ships the machine with. There's also an M2 slot in here, and that can be used either for the wireless wide area networking card, that's your 3G, 4G module or for a caching SSD in the event that you order this with a conventional spinning hard drive. For example, you can get this with a 500 gig spinning hard drive and then you can get a 16 gig caching drive in there. Our model has a 128 gig SSD in it, Core i5-4300U CPU and 8 gigs of RAM. So looking inside, well it looks like a ThinkPad, doesn't it? You get the fold back display here that's pretty much a hallmark of ThinkPads these days. You can get this with and without a touch screen. It's up to you. We'll talk about that in a minute. But first let's look at the keyboard. Your usual really awesome Lenovo keyboard with really nice long key travel. That's what's nice about not getting say a ThinkPad X1 Carbon which is even skinnier. There's less room for key travel. Same thing's true for the ThinkPad Yoga of course too. Really classic ThinkPad typing experience here. Concave keys, smile shape, ergonomic delight. And here we have the big Synaptics trackpad with our nav point up top. Buttonless trackpad, the click points exist as you expect they would. And with the latest driver you don't actually have to click these buttons down if you happen to be using the pointer stick up here. You can actually tap to click if you want. That's something that I like and I think a lot of you will too. So let's see how this looks from the side. And we can see our key travel there. Plenty of it. Keys are nicely damped. You'll hear, hear a little bit of click, but nothing clickety clackety, and it just feels really good. And this deck is incredibly rigid. There is no movement here, no matter how hard I mash down. So, awesome typing experience. Definitely one of the selling points of the ThinkPad line, and it lives on here in the T440S. For those of you who are wondering about this versus the X240, the X240 being just as thick is actually just as good, I think, for typing. So, other than the difference in the size of the deck that you're working with overall, they both have excellent experiences. Does it feel better than the Carbon? X1 Carbon? Yes it does. Does it feel better than the ThinkPad Yoga? Yes it does. There is more tactile feel here. So as mentioned for the 14 inch display of your choice between HD Plus which is 1600 by 900, Full HD 1920 by 1080 or Full HD with Touch. Going to Full HD with Touch adds $120 onto the base price. Currently on Lenovo's website, the, the, the base model with the Core i5 and a spinning hard drive and single band Wi-Fi is going to set you back around $1,140. Our machine, as configured, sells for around $1,380 or so. And we have the full HD touchscreen here. It's sort of, it's one of Lenovo's weird anti-glare kind of displays and in bright light it doesn't look that good. It looks a little bit milky. In your average office environment that's not too bright without direct sunlight, it actually looks really stunning and it is less glary than, well, a glossy display. Color gamut on this is also excellent. Here you can see what our colorimeter as has measured 97% of sRGB and there's our Adobe RGB which is measuring in at 75% putting this at the, as the cream of the crop of laptops that's what the top laptop display is doing. And we're thrilled with that because often Lenovo puts out a pretty nice display but the color gamut is not exceedingly wide. This is something that graphics professionals could actually use. It's got enough accuracy on it among laptops anyway. Brightness is okay. We're measuring it at 244 nits using our Spider 4 Pro colorimeter again, which is a device that you actually plug in hardware-wise to the USB port and lay it on the screen to measure these things. Contrast ratio is very good at 800 to 1. Our unit has a fingerprint scanner right here to the side of the keyboard. That's about a $20 option, not much. The 3G, 4G Sierra Gobi wireless modem is going to add $280 to the cost. Ouch, that one's kind of expensive. Bluetooth 4.0 is standard regardless of which Wi-Fi module you go with. In terms of benchmark performance, we are looking at Ultrabook internals here. We have Haswell 4th generation ULV, now called ULT CPUs. Those are the 15 watt CPUs that are used in all of today's Ultrabooks. On PC Mark 7, our model with an SSD drive, which should score a little bit better because PC Mark loves SSD drives and ranks them more highly, scored 4684, which is about average for a Core i5 Haswell. W Prime, 
computed pi in 23.24 seconds. That's a little slower than normal, but not by more than a second, so I really wouldn't worry about that. 3D Mark 11 performance setting at 720p, 815. Uh, again, we've seen some that go up to the 900s or so, but this is more of a business machine. You're not going to be playing games probably much on this anyway, so that's, again, acceptable. Yeah, you can play older games on this. You can certainly play Metro games. Battlefield 4, this is not really your machine. Geekbench 3, 2314 for the single core, 4521 for the multi core, which is standard for the range of Core i5 Haswell machines. So how about video playback? Well, it's going to play back video, full HD video, just fine even. And we'll check out our X240 ThinkPad video review to see how that does. And so you can hear the speakers on this. By the way, the multimedia keys, you need not press the FN key first before using them. You can actually have them set by default to control multimedia playback, which is nice. And we'll bring it down to 54 and... This is Lisa from Mobile it's Tech loud. Today we're going to look at the Lenovo ThinkPad X240. This is Lenovo's 12.5 inch ultra portable with incredible battery life and a lot of ports. And we're going to look at it now. Here it is. I know several of you have been waiting for this. The Lenovo ThinkPad X240. This is the upgrade for the... So there it is. Loud but tinny. Not the nicest experience there, but we're playing full HD. You can see that that's doing just fine in terms of video playback quality. Honestly, you're probably going to want to use some headphones with this or external speakers. If you really want to enjoy a movie or some music, it's just kind of loud but brash. Other features include Lenovo's dual microphone up here. We have our HD webcam. And you can see from the software just over here, this is a ThinkPad. They're, they don't bundle it with a whole lot of crapware on here. You do get Lenovo's ThinkVantage tools, software update tools, management tools. Those things are all great, and particularly IT departments love those because they can keep the machine up to date and safe and sound.